I'm Gina Poindexter. Um, I'm a recent Columbia graduate, visual arts major, and I've been working in the conservation lab since junior year. As a senior, we did a senior thesis class in which we got studio space and we got to work on a project of our choice. It ended up revolving around some books that I made. I think it was largely informed by my exposure to books in the library. I ended up making a series of four books um, and around this correspondence letter writing project that I did. I think that being an avid reader growing up and things like that, I'd always kind of understood the book as like an intellectual device or some kind of transmission of information, but making my own kind of really got me to think about the book as a thing or as an object. And I think that being able to make my own opened up this world of opportunity and realizing that there were creative places to take it and ways to kind of make it your own or there's so much more to explore um, especially as something you could you could do with your hands instead of something that you could just read what working here allowed me to see largely was just the larger picture of Colombia as this kind of infinite resource or just like being exposed to like the Incanabula um, and seeing books from centuries and centuries ago even if it's just in the capacity of like measuring them and holding them, they just start to feel so precious and it's kind of an intense experience to be around that kind of history and to know that it's available to us as students. I was able to go to my supervisor and tell her that I was thinking about doing this project for a year abroad and that I wanted it to be something with bookmaking. And immediately she'd send an email to the head of the rare books and manuscripts library and I was able to go up there and just get exposed again to just different kinds of books beyond the classic binding structure that you would need for a, a class or need to write a paper and it, it was kind of again just like this surge of inspiration realizing that there are people who are doing like novel revolutionary things still with just these fundamental tools to quote Professor Roma, the, the book is the thing. He, he is an artist that I respect a lot and he does all of his work in books. He doesn't have a gallery and the reason is because they're portable and they're accessible and usually affordable, more affordable than a print you would buy off of a gallery wall. And so I think that in terms of my art, um, it's also been a really neat realization for me that it's such a good way to communicate and it's such a good way, such a good conduit for whatever message I'm trying to send. And I love that you can handle it and it feels personal. Another job I had this year was a position of an extracurricular art instructor at a high school in Midtown. The highlight was that I got to kind of um, revamp the sketchbook making, book binding demo that I'd gotten here at Columbia um, in a studio art classroom and kind of channel that into a remedial school in Midtown with kids from all five boroughs who are being exposed to the same thing that I received, you know, with a Columbia education. And um, I think that the experience of mine of making my own book kind of re- um, describing or my relationship with books totally I could see that happening with some of these kids too when you realize that something you really only think is as having a utility or some kind of function you realize that you can produce it on your own it's like you know then you start thinking I could write books too and now I'm going to Ghana to research grief and mourning and funeral practices which are actually less uh, morbid than they are here. It's, it's a more celebratory culture. I'm hoping to make a series of books um, containing prints that I've, I've made through the experience, probably woodcuts, just because that's going to be the raw material that's available to me over there. But I think that considering this new, like, the book is the thing kind of mentality that I was able to develop over this senior year, I'm really looking forward to you know, being on my own and trying with, I have no idea what tools will be available to me and trying to replicate and use all that I've learned here to, to make something that's gonna make a lasting impression on some people.